indicator row is the region displayed at the left edge of the grid view, which indicates the state of the focused row. The indicator can display an icon when the row has focus, the focus row is in edit mode, the row is modified, the row is a new item or the new auto filter row, and when the focus or non-focus row contains errors. Additionally, the indicator row can also display an icon to maximize and restore a detailed view. In this video, we'll take a look at how easy it is to custom paint the indicator row by drawing a string on it. So let's get started. Starting from a new WinForms application, I drop an extra grid control onto the form and dock it to its parent. I'll bind the grid to a data source by invoking its smart tag and clicking the Add Project Data Source link. I'll use an existing connection string for the Cars DB database. I click Next and select the Cars table that will supply data to the grid. Finally, I click Finish to complete the wizard. I run the grid's designer and switch to the columns page to remove the unnecessary columns for this example. I also need to adjust the width of the indicator row so that our string fits inside it. To do this, I switch to the feature browser, expand the visual elements node, and select the indicator item. On the right, I set its width property to 60. And I'm done. I close the designer. Now I'm going to create a handler for the grid view's custom draw row indicator event. This event is raised each time a row indicator cell needs to be repainted. In code view, I add a reference to the following namespace. Then I'll create a boolean field that will specify whether to draw the default indicator glyphs. Back inside the event handler, I add the following code. Here, I check to see whether the cell indicator belongs to a data row. For example, if the cell indicator is next to a group row, we will not custom paint it. And finally, for the purpose of this lesson, I want to display the text row followed by the data row number. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. Now you'll see that the indicator rows are displaying my custom text. Additionally, the glyphs are also drawn when I select each row. This is because we did not set the handled property within the event handler. Therefore, a custom painting is being applied in addition to the default painting provided by the extra grid. I group by the HP column, and you'll notice that the row indicators belonging to the group rows are empty, while the data rows continue to display my string. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.